I actually arrived on New Year's Day of 1981. And that night, if I'm not mistaken, I guess they shot a show on New Year's Eve night because I went right to the day that, or maybe it was the next day, it was probably the next day, uh, that the next day I came in. All I can remember is that when I walked in for the first time, the show was already being shot. I came out to the floor, walked over to Gene. Um, when I got into the studio, Tom wasn't there yet for some whatever reason. He couldn't come for a week. And um, I walked in, and the show was near its end. And they were shooting it. And I walked out to the floor next to Gene, and the sketch finished. And during the sketch, she said um, to someone she turned that she said, listen, we're running really short. Go ask Eddie to come upstairs. And a minute later, Eddie Murphy, 19-year-old kid who was in the second billing of the show, not in the star billing, and was pissed about that, came upstairs and said, what's up, Jean? She said, listen, Eddie, I'm going to be three and a half minutes short. Can you go out there and fill three and a half minutes to end the show? Would you? And he said, sure. The sketch came to an end. And then he sauntered out onto the stage and killed. He killed. He was totally at ease. He was Eddie Murphy. He was Eddie Murphy. He just got out there and just was hilarious and brought the house down. And, and uh, that was my introduction to Saturday Night Live, coming in as head writer. And um, it was uh, pretty wild and woolly. Um, and the telltale's out of court here. Um, the first group that did it, you know, the initial Saturday Night Live group, they were known to have lived almost day and night in NBC and bunked out in their offices and stayed there all night. And um, a lot of stuff was going on. There was a pretty crazy group. They were all, most all writer performers. And uh, that was the system that had been set up. And the way it was done and the way it is done is that um, maybe on a, on, a, on a Monday, sketches would be uh, sketch ideas would be presented to Lorne Michaels, and in our case, Gene Demanian. Writers, the writer performers, would present ideas for sketches, and they, they would be talked about, and which, which ones are you going to go off and now do first draft of? So there would be a winnowing down. Then writers would go off and write one, two, three sketches for consideration. Then those sketches would be gotten, and let's winnow those down. But many would be put into rehearsal, and then those are winnowed down. And the night of the show, after they do a run-through of the show, right before the show goes on live, that final decision is made is what's being done. So if I'm being clear about it, it's a ton of material is generated, and then it winnowed down, all in the space of a week. And sets are actually built for sketches that get cut after the first run-through, right before you do the live run. run. And um, so it's, it's insane. I mean, it's it's... It's submarine service working on that show because you you are involved all day long, every day. So what was your function as head writer and what was your relationship to... To, to come in and to write sketches and to and to edit and rewrite and sketches of the other writers and to, and to work with Gene in terms of deciding, making the decisions as to which things would be continuing to live and which things would live a little longer. And then finally, the, right before it, it's a very... It's a, very dramatic, uh, high tension, uh, half an hour that you've got to decide what's all lined up for, for the live show that's coming on. You know, what about that statistician? You know, okay, let's go with that one. Cut this. It's suddenly a sketch that's been rehearsed and worked on is gone. The set has been built. It's never going to. I mean, this is very exciting. So it's really a, uh, it's a, it's a ten ring circus with new acts being developed and then suddenly cut and then finally trying to put together the center ring. Did you have uh, the same kind of sensibilities with her? Uh, were you fighting for uh, sketches to be put on that she didn't want, or were you both on the same page, generally speaking? Uh, both. I'd say both. It was, it was um, we got along fine. By the way, I wasn't there long before Writer's Strike came. I actually wrote and, and worked on seven, uh, I think seven or eight episodes before the strike came. Um, but um, no, uh, Jean, was, Jean was fine. She was very, very good to work with. She, Different tastes in some ways. There were there were there were there were a couple of battles in terms of this, you know, where one of us felt strongly about something and the other didn't, pro or con. Uh, for the most part, it was pretty smooth. Um, 
you know, there isn't that much time. Certainly she didn't have any ego problems. We didn't have any of that. But there isn't too much time. You, you kind of pretty quickly, pre you don't have the time to not see the truth. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much so that you're going to, you kind of, you, it's pretty clear what's working, what isn't, what balances. It, it's not that hard in that sense to, to, to come to agreement. But sometimes it would be, uh, this one, this is, this is a terrific sketch. This should play. It was one that, that I fought for. You know, we really fought. And um, I wrote it. And I fought for it. And uh, it wasn't as good as I thought when it played. But it played. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a disaster. I thought it had to be in the show. And I fought for it. And she said, OK. It didn't have to be in the show, but it didn't hurt the show. It was, it was, it was, what was it? Which one? It was, uh, oh god, it was, uh, it was Scottish, <laughs> it was, it, it was a, there's a, there's a phrase, fair dinkum. In Paramount Studios, there's a bungalow, a work bungalow called fair dinkum. Now, fair dinkum in Scottish means, I don't know what. It's, it's, it means something, but it's, there's, there's, it's not a blue, it's nothing blue about it. But I always thought fair dinkum was a funny name, and it's always stuck in the back of my mind. And I had this idea, Tom and I did, and which was that, we would have a new sport, which was fair dinkum. And it was a Scottish sport in which there's a long table, and Scot Scotsmen, who wear kilts, sit on opposite sides of the table. But the table is long, so there's two team on each side, but it's not very, it's thin. It's, a, it's, not, a, it's, not, a, it's not a wide table, so you can easily reach. If you wanted to reach under the, under the table, you could reach the other guy. And fair dinkum was a sport where when the referee sits at the end of the table, bangs the table and says, begin. The, the sport begins, which is the teams each try to reach each other and grab each other's privates and see who you, who you can defeat. So, so it's a furious thing, but you don't see, all you see is the top of the table and, 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 and the reaction to the thing. So this is this crazy, wild, primitive, savage Scottish sport. And when somebody has, when somebody's obviously been <laughs> defeated, the ref calls out, fair dinkum. Anyway, so this is this idiotic sketch. However, it was in in the tone of that year, the kind of stuff we were doing, we were trying to do some baldly, broad, fun, stupid, silly sketch work. And I thought it was a good one. What was, what it played. It got a lot of laughs from the audience. As far as I'm concerned, when I looked at it, I went, you know, I was involved in it, Tom, and I felt that, you know, this is going to be hilarious. It was funny. I don't know if it was hilarious. But anyway, it's an example of, you know. What was her objection to it? I think she. I think I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what her objection was, but she just felt we could let we could cut that one. I thought we shouldn't cut it. It's it's unusual. I had all these beliefs that it's unusual. It's it's different. It's not a verbal sketch. It, it it's colorful. You know, it's it, it's fun that it could be. And we said if the, the way they played it in the uh, in the run through, I thought they they've got it. They're making it funny. I want it to be like funny to see it now. It'd be embarrassing. Now another one of my turkeys. Great big gobbler. <laughs> 